Personal year number eight. This is the big year, the peak of your cycle, the culmination of all your hard work. It is the time of harvest, when you reap the fruits of your labors of the previous seven years. This is an excellent time for career, professional, business, and financial activities and projects. Many people make important career decisions in a number 8 year. Hard work may be rewarded with bonuses, promotions, and financial gains. If you are not focused in the earlier part of your cycle, you could be disappointed with the results. Now is the time to revise your vision for the future, consider your next set of long-term goals. Go all out and expect the best for yourself. Be bold. Manifest your vision. Now is the time to be the powerful force you long to be. Do not back down and don't quit now. While remaining realistic in your expectations, don't underestimate your potential for success. A personal year 8 is ruled by Saturn. It is a powerful and karmic year in which you may see the manifestation of the things you have created and developed over the years. This can be good, bad, or a mix of the two. It all depends on your personal karma and the amount of effort you have to put in. So if you've planted some seeds in your personal year one of your current nine-year cycle and have consistently worked on growing and watering those seeds over the past seven years, you may now reap the fruits of your labor or lose what you have sown. Something you have done in a previous cycle or perhaps a past life could also come back to you now as a reward or in extreme cases, a punishment. And if anything needs to get sorted out, you may gain the time and opportunity to make improvements, enhancements, and adjustments where needed. The year will highlight common themes and matters in, the rela in relation to the behavioral qualities, planetary energies, and signification of Saturn, like the ones mentioned above. A personal year 8 is not a time to contemplate your life's path or direction anymore. Instead, you ought to get serious, put your thoughts into action, and take up the reins of your own life. Matters in relation to your health might need some enhancement as well. So if, for example, you've let yourself go, you may start a new fitness routine and change your eating habits into something better. Or if your eyesight has weakened, you could get a new pair of glasses or find alternative ways to improve your eyes. Or if you've been walking around with an excruciating toothache, then visit to the dentist. This is not only a perfect year for enhancements of all, all sorts, but is also a period in which you may have to face certain obstacles and delays when doing so. As such, you might find yourself replanning, restructuring, reorganizing, refining, and just redoing a lot of things more so than usual, and you may have to go through a lot of hurdles to get to your destination. As you go after your goals and try to manifest your dreams, you could feel anxious, limited, lonely, and even isolated at times. When that happens or whenever you face certain obstacles and setbacks, see and accept it, see and accept it as a challenge. Understand that these blockages, hurdles, hiccups, and delays on your way to success are not there to discourage you or stop you from pursuing your happiness and instead they are there to test your patience, perseverance, resilience, readiness, willingness, and commitment to your goals. It is all part of the process. So, whatever situation you find yourself in, avoid negative emotions and feelings like anger, stress, stubbornness, worries, or frustration. In addition, try not to push yourself too hard or take on more, more work and responsibilities than you can handle. 
as this can leave you feeling drained, depleted, and burned out. In case you find yourself being swamped with work and struggling with time management, then you may need to rethink the way you plan, organize, and structure your day-to-day. You may also want to consider taking occasional breaks from your busy schedule and incorporating some exercise or some spiritual activities to help you calm your mind and relax your body. Always prioritize your mental health, emotional wellness, and overall well-being. And yeah, just get some rest sometimes. And um, just keep in mind that although you may be in a personal year of hard work, it doesn't mean that you should neglect or forget yourself. Since Saturn denotes the law of karma, fate, justice, and judicial matters, you might experience fated events and situations related to these areas as well. For instance, people from your past or a past life could suddenly reappear to pay off some unresolved spiritual karmic debt with you, which can be a positive or negative experience. Their return, however, will give you the opportunity to identify whether this reconnection and thus the relationship aligns with your long-term visions, plans, and aspirations. If you discover that these people from your past do not serve your highest good, Whether these are personal or professional relations, you may decide to let them go or they may decide to part ways with you. When you look at karmic payback from a financial perspective, it simply means that you could get some relief and support through a debt settlement. Thus, if you've been slacking off and can't seem to pay your bills on time, you could find yourself consulting with a financial advisor or in court to have that sorted out. This way you get to pay off your karmic debt. When it comes to legal matters, there are a few scenarios of how this could play out. Some people could even find themselves in the court to finalize a divorce, an adoption, or a settlement between or a settlement agreement between between you and your employer or you and your partner or something even bigger than what i've mentioned but whether those legal matters and cases will be in your favor depends on your past and present karma and thus your actions um so besides that it is a wonderful time to enroll in a new training course or a higher educational program for example a master's degree or something like that Since Saturn signifies separation, time, maturity, old age, and people much older than you, it could mean that either you or someone else close to you might retire from a long-term career. And if not, then there is a possibility of losing an older family member, for example, a grandparent or a parental figure through death, or you may get separated from them in a different way. For instance, you could move out of your parents' house and you might have to put your parents into a nursing home or something like that. Be careful of any unethical practices and immoral behavior such as misusing your power and position or taking advantage of others so you can achieve your goal. And also avoid comparing yourself to others. Don't be jealous of other people's successes and achievements. And do not look down on others because they have a lower job title or salary than you. So always strive for a healthy balance between your spiritual needs and material wants. And adopt an attitude of gratitude and treat others the way you want to be treated because during this karmic year anything or anyone can be taken away from you at any moment so yeah this year um, the universe will teach you the valuable lessons of consistent hard work and daily productivity while cultivating a sense of responsibility and accountability as these are key ingredients to achieving your goals successfully Just stay positive, be humble, ground yourself at all times, and give all you've got. In addition, be kind to people even if they are not kind to you. Be a good judge of character without being judgmental and trust that what is meant for you will reach you even if it is beneath beneath 
two mountains. And what isn't when what isn't meant for you won't reach you even if it is between your two lips. Okay, I hope that this video helps. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please take care of yourself and have a wonderful year. Good luck and I wish you all the best. Bye!